Hi, this is John, and um, I'm going to share with you this uh, project that I just did for shop storage. It's to store these uh, Harbor Freight plastic bins. But I also wanted to share with you one of the reasons I love YouTube. Uh, being able to see other people's videos, get uh, additional ideas, build on it, and then uh, share them out with other people as well. So about a year ago or so, I was watching the Test It channel, and they had a series on there, or a video, of Adam Savage's uh, Sortimo storage boxes. And um, I, was, I was hooked on, on trying to do something similar, looked into the pricing of the Sortimo and found out how expensive they were. Uh, while I was looking at that video, off in the right side uh, of the screen there was a link to a guy's website or YouTube channel, Dave Worth. And Dave actually built a cabinet similar to this to store the Harbor Freight boxes. And he did his out of uh, Oriented Strand Board and um, OSB. So what I decided to do was something similar. I loved his idea. I was really excited when I saw his video. So Dave, we never met. I do watch your channel. So thank you very much for sharing that because uh, I, I thought it was awesome. Uh, the one thing that I did differently than Dave did in his cabinet, he stores the, the small uh, boxes, the smaller uh, boxes that you can pick up at Harbor Freight. I wanted to be able to do the same thing but also have the option to store the deeper boxes that Harbor Freight sells and also Stanley sells the, the size like this and also the, the deeper ones. So what I did was I uh, created a way to be able to have removable uh, quarter inch plywood shelves that uh, store in here and then you put the shelf in, put the box in it and if you want to store a deeper box you could remove the shelf. Um, I'll just put these back here. You could remove the other bin and in this space you could fit the deeper box which I have down at the bottom you'll see later on in the video. Also um, to make the grooves in the side of the case instead of cutting dados into the plywood which you'd have to use either a dado blade on a table saw or a uh, straight cutting bit on a router a lot of folks that do some basic um, woodworking might not have those tools or have, have a router so I decided to do um, dados, but I made one by I got one by threes, made my own dados by putting the one by three, putting the quarter inch space, stacking the one by three, and so on, all the way up the cabinet. Um, so there's three parts in this uh, video series. In part one, I'm going to show you how I got started building the case, and in part two, we'll, we'll and part two and three, we'll paint it and assemble the the rest of it. Also on the top here, I wanted to be able to put something. Uh, where I could put the plastic bins, not have hardware roll all over the place, be able to kind of work on the top here. So I have this little removable top that I made out of uh, some leftover three-quarter inch birch plywood, and that we have that sitting up here. It just sits up here, and it's uh, it sits real nice. You, of course, you don't need to do this. You'll see this in the video as well. You could just use the storage cabinet. Another thing I wanted to point out was if you were making this uh, cabinet and you want to put a door on it. I, I don't like the door. I think it looks nice. I like the, the look of these. But if you're in a shop where there's a lot of sawdust or an area where there's a lot of sawdust, you might want to put a, a door on it to keep the dust out of here. Also, if you were to build this case and put it in a, a, a van or a tool cabinet or a tool, uh, excuse me, a tool trailer, um, another option that I thought about doing was, let me just grab a piece of scrap here I'll show you. Um, you could put a piece of plywood all the way down the front and put a hinge or a piano hinge and, and a latch at the top so that if, if you were in a tool trailer and this were to go forward the, the cases would not come out. Um, of course you could put this on a hinge, undo the latch, you could open this and then be able to pull the, the case out. So that's another idea. The other thing that I did with this project was I created a SketchUp for it, a Google SketchUp. My son Justin helped me out with that. Another channel that I watch is Ron Paulk, P-A-U-L-K. He's a, a, a home builder out in the Pacific Northwest. And Ron, if you haven't seen his channel, it's an awesome channel. He has uh, really, really great ideas for tool st storage, and he's got a, uh, several tool trailers that he's had uh, over the years. And um, he really kind of inspired me to try to do something in SketchUp. So I'd like to thank Ron Paulk and Dave Worth and, uh, and even the, uh, the Tested channel for posting uh, Adam Savage's uh, tool cabinet on there. So thank you very much. Uh, this is the reason I love YouTube. Uh, I hope somebody uh, looks at this, likes the idea, maybe wants to build something similar. I would love for you to share with me 
uh, your ideas to maybe even build on this design and make, make this better. So thank you very much and uh, we're going to get started. Here I have my table saw set up and I'm starting to rip the plywood that I'm using for the sides of the cabinet. If you don't have a table saw, you can certainly make these cuts with a circular saw. I adjust at the fence on the table saw and now I'm making the cross cuts for the top and bottom portion of the cabinet. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the casters and I'm laying the casters on the bottom of this piece of plywood because I'm going to drill pocket holes, a series of pocket holes down each side that's going to fasten the sides of the uh, case or the cabinet to the to the bottom and also I'm going to do the same thing on the top but what I want to do is I want to position my casters in such a way that I could drill the series of pocket holes besides being in between them I'll be able to drill a, uh, a hole right in the center of where this caster is going to go these are going to be screwed to the bottom of the wood so I could get away with putting a, a pocket hole directly underneath of where the the caster is positioned so I'm going to go ahead and just mark this, the locations, the, the rough locations of where each of these casters are going to go before I do the pocket holes. This doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just marking this so I know where to put the pocket holes. Or at least the one pocket hole that's going to be on the end here under each caster. Okay, here's the bottom piece and I have the four pocket holes jig, uh, the four pocket holes drilled underneath where the caster locations are going to go. I'm going to drill three more holes along each edge. Um, I plan on gluing this and screwing it together. Um, so maybe three is overkill, I don't know, but I'm just going to do three um, pocket holes on either side. So I got the, the jig set up ready to go. And we'll drill these. Pocket holes are drilled in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, three quarter inch piece of plywood that's going to be the top. All right, so I got the I got the underneath drilled and I got the top part drilled, and I, I just have this right now temporarily pushed against the uh, one of the sides here. I'm not going to screw it to that. I'm going to screw it to the bottom of this other. Side. So it's going to be positioned here. We're going to be screwing this. The pocket holes are facing the underneath. I got inch and a quarter inch Craig screws. We're actually going to glue this and screw it. If I did not have a pocket hole jig, I could screw and either nail this or I could screw and or glue and screw this in from the side here. I didn't want to have the screws hiding from the side, so that's why I'm doing the pocket holes. So we're going to go ahead and glue this up and, and, and screw it.
Okay, I'm going to screw the, the first uh, pocket hole here. Use an inch and a quarter screws. this around we're going to do the other side. All right I got this flipped around, glue on the other side, and we're going to screw this in place the same way. Just like the other side we're going to do the end pieces. The end, uh, the end screws, and then we'll do the ones in the center. All right, I got the other side screwed in here. We are going to flip the case around and we're going to do the top. This is the, this is the bottom side. Um, so this is the top part of the cabinet. In this case, I want the pocket holes to be on the inside. I don't want them to be on the top of the, uh, of the case. I want them to be on the inside. So I'm going to put glue on either side of the case, put this in position, and then I'm going to screw it Okay, I'm going to glue and screw a three-quarter inch piece of plywood on for the back. Um, it's what I have on hand. I do have quarter inch plywood, but I want to use three-quarter of an inch because I'm not sure if at some point I'm going to want to mount this to a wall. So half inch or three-quarter would be good. Um, if I was just going to keep it on the casters the whole time, quarter inch plywood would be fine as all. Well. I'm just going to use a, a piece of uh, three-quarter uh, at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and glue this and then we're going to lay the wood on here and screw it in place. Alright, so with the one end screwed in place, I'm making sure this end is squared up and we're going to drive some screws in here. Okay, with that, I'm just going to continue screwing down the sides here. Looks like the plywood is just a little bit bumped out, so we're going to push that in as I screw down here in the center. I think we're good on this side, but I'm going to just go ahead and um, 
moving the cabinet around so I can see the other side. This side looks fine. I'm just going to put some screws in on this side. There you go. Back is on. All right, I have the case upside down here in my uh, garage, and I have a little uh, jig here that I have set to three quarters of an inch. Um, I decided to push the casters back on the front side here, three quarters of an inch, because I want the uh, when the wheel is facing forward, I want it to kind of sit back a little bit. So I have that three quarters of an inch on both sides. We're going to go ahead and screw this in place. And we'll do the other side. Making sure this is straight. I have it sitting up on little blocks here, so it's moved around just a little bit. Okay, there's one, three more to go. All right, here's the bottom of the cabinet with the four casters on it. We're going to flip it up and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here's the cabinet. Standing up on uh, the casters. And I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of paint on it. 